pressure is mounting for an investigation into Ghana's expenditure at the Africa Games, the 13th Africa Games. The details coming up shortly. But earlier today, there was a, a group petitioned the Special Prosecutor's Office um, to investigate Ghana's expenditure at the 13th Africa Games. The petition by the Forum for Accountability Ghana wants the OSP to look into concerns raised over transparency, accountability, and also the value for money in the use of public funds. Kwame Osu Danson is president of this forum. Take a listen to him. We'll, we'll recall that shortly and, and tell you exactly uh, what, what, what exactly they're asking of from the special prosecutor and why we should all be concerned in, in that. But some $245 million is what is reported to have been spent on this Africa Games. And there are fundamental questions about exactly what has to be done to be able to get some level of accountability going into it, especially when we're told also that some $15 million was spent on feeding these athletes within this 18-day period. Let's take a listen to Kwame Danso. Every Ghanaian citizen is interested in accountability. And I want to believe that the office was set up for the purposes of ensuring expeditious accountability. And so I would not want to give them any ultimatum, but I know that they have the interest of the good people at heart, and they must do what is right by the, their conscience, and they must do what is right by the laws of this country. Um, to that end, I expect that they get back to us uh, as soon as possible so that we can be assured that they are interested in investigating this matter and bringing finality to it. I am very confident in the Office of the Special Prosecution. I think that we have a plethora of examples to cite about the competencies of the Office of the Special Prosecution and also the commitment and the patriotism demonstrated by the uh, Special Prosecutor himself, Kisia Jabin. Um, because we do know that the Special Prosecutor was appointed by this government, but has been very instrumental in investigating matters of corruption in this particular ad administration. To this end, I'm very confident, highly so, that the office of the special prosecution will discharge its... Well, so that's Kwame Danso there. Now, this follows what has been happening at the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament. In fact, last week when someone at a George, a member of parliament for the Negro Pram constituency, asked the question of the sports minister, and then that opened this Pandora's box of how much exactly was paid GBC. Now we've gotten to know the details of it, not, not just three companies, but five companies were engaged to, you know, to do all of the other aspects of the, of, of the coverage of this Africa Games. But then again, this $245 million that we're told, the total expenditure spent on this, according to the sports minister sometime in March, there was some $145 million that was spent in the construction of the state-of-the-art center at Boteman. $145 million was spent on that Boteman Sports Center. And they spent $34 million, according to the Sports Minister, on renovating the University of Ghana Stadium. Also, $16 million was spent on the refurbishment of the Games Village. This Games Village is it's not a new village that was built, from what we do know. These were hostels at the University of Ghana Lagon, which were according to the words of the sports minister, refurbished. They, they installed air conditions in there, painted the, the hostels, and then they put these athletes in there with some new beds and so on. $16 million. That's how much it cost. And we'll come to that. Keep that in mind, right? And then the coverage, $3.6 million. Feeding of the athletes, according to the ranking on the sports, select committee on sports in parliament, Governor Wyoming. It says $50 million was spent on feeding the 5,000 athletes over the 18-day period. And then accreditation for coverage and so on, all these athletes and all, all the officials in there also cost $4.5 million. That's how much, right? All of this. And that's raised some fundamental questions about exactly how these monies were spent and whether there's value for money in there and whether these monies were judiciously used. Remember, this is your money as well, and you should be concerned how these were, were used over the period. And so we asked a question, and what is on your screen right now is a tweet by a journalist who's going to be joining us shortly, Sadiq Adams. Sadiq Adams posted on his X page. He says, UPSA is literally constructing an entirely new school campus, a 10-floor multipurpose, Twin Tower, 
edifice and the two new story hostel block facility. Now, he puts these facilities by UPSA, the two story hostels, 10 story each, will accommodate 3,250 students. All four grand projects cost $230 million. That's about 230 million CDs, I beg your pardon. That's $40 million. So he, he then puts it together and tries to juxtapose this cost, and this is what is on the screen right now. These two grand projects by UPSA costing $40 million as against the refurbishment of an existing hostel at the University of Ghana costing $16 million. And Sadiq Adams is joining us. Call him Sadiq Obama. Good evening, Sadiq. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. It's always a pleasure, Alfred. You ask what I would describe as a common sense question, because if what you're saying is anything to go by, that these two grand projects we're, we're seeing on the screen, constructed by the UPSA, is costing $40 million. New buildings, as against the refurbishment of existing hostels for, this, for these games, costing us $16 million. What's the disconnect there for you? You are in this poor sector. Right, thank you very much. So I have seen the expenditure of the African game just as you have run through uh, a short while ago. And what I believe is that the blankets announcements or mentioning of these figures will not do justice to what the people understand. Basically, if you say $18 million for, or $15 million for feeding uh, 3,000 athletes over a 20-day period, uh, how many meals were cooked? So to properly put it in a context for people to understand it, uh, you just have to understand, go deeper, to know how many meals were cooked per day as compared to the Olympic Games. Generally, how many meals were cooked? So this is how I'm trying to situate the conversation so that the ordinary man, the layman on the street can understand what these figures mean. So the University of Ghana ref Refurbishments for all the games that we have attended. Normally, the game village is constructed and normally around the main uh, stadium that's hosting the event. So, when we attend this game, the game village is put up, sometimes a fresh um, put up from stats. So, the construction will start alongside the stadium or near to the stadium. But what happened with African games is that we are refurbishing four already existing hostels at the University of Ghana campus, Kwapon, Elizabeth Say, and the others, which are quite closer. And the refurbishment will come as a result of the fact that the hostels were constructed to accommodate students. So when you want to put in athletes, you need to put in some bits of facelifts, a new bed that can accommodate or contain two persons in a room, air conditions in each room, a water heater, you have to paint it, maybe there will be a bit of electrical works to do, and, and plumbing works, and painting. So these are the most significant. I have been there, and these are the most significant uh, refurbishment um, in terms of quantities that were done to the facility. And you situate that, refurbishing a facility that is not too old. So you look at what was invested in these facilities. They were not broken down. They were facilities that were existing and not too dilapidated in a sense. So you do not need to pull down the roofs or the walls or anything. Just decorate the rooms and raise the status, maybe with some bit of tiles that are broken. So, so if that refurbishment is costing the Ghanaian taxpayer, the Ghanaian taxpayer, 15 million or $16 million, properly $16 million, how will people understand what has been invested I put the UPSC one because I am trying to understand what $60 million can do. And I see the UPSC construction of an entire uh, campus. So they are moving the general staffing, administrative uh, quarters of UPS to a new one that is ultra-modern. And that is inclusive of um, elevators, state-of-the-art complex, with two hostels accommodating over 3,300 students. And the cost of that is $40 million. They are starting from a fresh ground zero to a facility that is new. And these two facilities are happening alongside 
I mean, around the same time, 2021, 2022. So they are still on, on, on the construction of the UPSA one, 95% done as I understand. So I put this to a technical person and ask if $40 million can construct a hostel or a rooms that are more than the hostels on the campus of University of Ghana. Why do we refurbish four hostels to the tune of 16 million? And mind you, these UPSA hostels and accommodation blocks have almost all these facilities that were imputed in the ones at the uh, University of Ghana. So air conditions are there, uh, lecture rooms definitely with air conditions and state-of-the-art facilities with screens and elevators. So if you do that and you, you, you put that side by side with how much we invested in refurbishing four hostels that were already existing, then you understand what the figure means. So we refurbished four hostels for $16 million to host an event of 18 days. And UPSA is constructing an entirely new one, four grand apartments, 10 story each for 40 million, 2 million difference refurbishment and starting construction of this grand project in the same, I mean, environment. UPSA is just closer to Legon. So we could have constructed um, four new hostels, better than what is at University of Ghana. Far, far better, in fact, and with $40 million. But we refurbished hostels, $16 million, when construction of four better hostels or tramodding ones mm. cost right. less. And that's, it's a, that's how I, I just want people to understand. And, 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 and it's look, it's a, it's a good analysis because it brings home um, this whole uh, conversation about what the monies could have been used for judiciously while we exactly. await the further breakdown. Because you make the point about all of these huge figures being put out there without giving us the full details of exactly. Because until last week, we didn't know the full breakdown of the $3.6 million dollars that was used for the coverage, correct? And until then, uh, you, you, yeah. you, you had yes. the GBC Director General also coming in and then Sports Ministry releasing statements here and there. Because if you look at the $50 million that has been reported to have been spent on feeding these 5,000 athletes, if you do the quick mathematics, over this 18-day period, you divide the 15 million by 5,000 athletes over a 15-day uh, that's 18-day period, you're spending a little over 2,650 thereabout a day on each yes. athlete. That raises questions, is it not? Unfortunately, we, 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 we lost Sadek there um, and, and that connection. But it, it, look, it, these are issues that bring up a lot of more matters. And Sadek, I was asking about the, the quick maths with the feeding. It also has its own questions, is it not? Yes, yes. So w w with uh, regards to the feeding, uh, we have done some checks and gone to the highest or top put hotel in town and uh, spoken to them on the cost of feeding. So you take, for instance, um, the top hotel in this country, their breakfast, lunch, and, 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 and dinner put together, their buffet, how much will it cost to feed the number of people? And uh, entirely, we have gotten around, um, I mean, we even added one million for fruits and other stuff. And, it was around 4.5 million for 25 days, uh, this same number of athletes. So we had to even add 1,000 more athletes to the one we have for miscellaneous or other uh, people who come to uh, the, the dining hall to take meals outside of the athletes. So we had 5,500 athletes put it to the hotel in town and say, for instance, if Kempiski is supposed to feed 5,500 athletes with um, their buffet, which is the highest, how much will it cost for 25 days? Even though it was for 18 days, we extended to a further one week and say people have stayed. And it was around $4.5 million. So you would need a breakdown for Paris Olympic Games, for instance. They have stated that they are, they are going to prepare 4 million meals, 4, diff 4, million, 4 million different meals because you have mm -hmm. 208 countries attending the Paris Olympic Games. So you have 4 million meals and they prepare 4,000 meals, different meals a day. These are the breakdowns you need. So if you require or there is an a probe into the African Games expenditure, and you call the person in charge of feeding and say, how many meals did you cook per day? 
then they will be able to explain better how much went into feeding breakfast lunch and what was in the breakfast then you can speak to the athletes some of them are from ghana some are from nigeria that we have spoken to is it is it really uh, true that you were fed with these meals as have been stated at the probe so right. this is better than by putting right. the blanket amounts we would want a probe so that right. we know the details of all the expenditure it's a very important question in there. The special prosecutor has been petitioned as well. So we'll see how things play out. But Sadiq, as always, it's good to have you. Thank you so much for joining us.